this lesson, we're going to be looking at the gravestone doji, okay? And why it's different. Now, if you look at the gravestone doji, you notice something. It's something similar to the dragonfly as well, just that it's inverted this time around, okay? As you can see the way it is. Remember the hanging man? The um, dragonfly, it was just the other way, please. Um, don't be confused if you hear me calling the hanging man and the dragonfly because they're basically the same thing. Okay. So, um, please do not be confused when you hear me, but I'll try as much as possible to stick it to the dragonfly. But in this case, we're looking at the gravestone doji, which is a very, very, very important doji for you to have a look at because once you see it, it usually indicates that yes, the reversal is just somewhere around the corner, if not eminent. So, what does a gravestone doji look like? As we can see over here, this is a gravestone. This is a typical example of a gravestone doji. What makes it unique is that the gravestone doji has an open, okay? Usually, no shadows below, okay? So, what happens is it opens, it trades very high, and when it trades very high, it comes back to close at its opening price, okay? So this is what makes the, the, or rather, this is what defines the gravestone doji. And it's a very, very, you know, um, serious one for you to have a get to have a look at whenever you see it or coin the chat. So it's not something to be overlooked. But like I said earlier in a previous video, usually they are not enough for you to be able to make predictions you have to be able to make predictions with them alongside your indicators and your oscillators so let's have a look at a gravestone doji while looking at a chat okay so now in this instance here let's have a look at this okay now we can see that there has been a trend here okay where the market has been trending okay now remember this yes you do which is the dragonfly okay now as you can see there was an uptrend here okay with the dragonfly here and what happened here we saw the gravestone doji occur here and like i said they just it's just an inverted one of the dragonfly as you can see this is what the dragonfly looks like here and this is what the gravestone doji looks like here and you can see when this occurred here what happened was that prices started declining you know gradually so they all appear in different time frames but you just have to know what they mean okay because once you have an idea of what they mean you enables you know how to make a decision which is very important so you now know okay this is the highest point the market has gotten to and i've seen a gravestone doji occur here possibly there could be a reversal in the market here and that is why a loan on its own might not be sufficient you know to provide you with the kind of answers that you need but with it with your indicators and oscillators will give you an idea on where the market is headed next so like i said they all occur on different time frames be it a monthly time frame a weekly time frame a daily time frame a four hourly time frame two hours one hour so the time frame that you're looking at also really really matters so that is what a gravestone doji looks like there for you so the next one will be going to engulfing patterns you know using the candlestick okay to get to understand the golfing patterns and bearish patterns as well to enable us or give us an idea to know when reversals are about to take place in the market also